I've got five days between the workout at grid camps with the Eagles to now the UFL workout on Friday here in Atlanta. I just got back late last night. It is Monday morning, bright and early, and I am definitely feeling a little bit sore here uh, in my backside, like the rotator cuff, shoulder area, but I'm really feeling it in my quads and then my left hamstring specifically. This video, we're gonna go ahead and take you through these five days plus the UFL showcase at the end of the video to show you how I recover from something strenuous of the showcase there in Pennsylvania to the UFL showcase five just five days later. The key here is to try to recover in two days. The first day after competition, tried to get the best sleep that I possibly could because sleep is the biggest drug. I had to, from there, go straight into lifting, something that we call super compensation. Actually, that's when your body's already broken down the most. You want to go ahead and take more out of your body so that when you do get good sleep, when you do get good recovery, your body's building back even more. So if you've ever seen this clip. To the next episode. A day, a B day, and a C day in season. Refer to the A day, B day, and C day. An A day is focused on rejuvenation, renewing of the tissue. This involves a lot of manipulating the body space. A days are day after the game. So on a Sunday to Sunday week, this is Monday. Everyone knows how they feel after a game, no matter what the competition is, everything just feels crunchy. Everything feels stiff. So for us on A day, it's really about getting the body back to that level zero. Then you'll a, definitely understand what my thought process behind a lot of this is. So Bobby is a guy that works with us over at Tom House Sports. We definitely follow Bobby's method of A day, B day, and C day. So the day after competition, A day, we want to go ahead and start getting our body back to a, a balanced base, right? We want to get our body back to a neutral. We're going to work on a lot of pliability work. We're going to work on a lot of joint integrity, arm care, to put energy back into the arm from what we just took out the day before. But I'm going to go ahead and get to working on that as well as then going to hit some weights later on today and head out to Peachtree City with my coach Rob Ambrose with Tom House Sports and get another workout in with my buddy Nate who's back from his summer baseball season. So let's get on to that and then we'll get on to the next day. So now it's day two of recovery. I'm going to start adding in a little more of speed work, more joint integrity because I have a joint integrity number I have to get to. But today we're going to get back into throwing because we have a session Friday. I go get some work in today. Today for me, I didn't even bring my cleats out today. I'm going to wear my arena cleats on the turf and we're just going to be working on 70% level throws. Nothing too major. Get some work in today and then we've got to put more joint integrity in our arm when Whenever we get home um, and we'll go from there so let's get on this field and uh, throw with the guys whenever they get here let's go
Alrighty, throwing session for day two done. As you kind of saw there, I really only did two or three reps of each route, wanting to keep my throwing volumes a whole lot lower just so I don't have to put as much back into my arm because obviously yesterday was the big muscle day, but ball's coming out really good. It feels like it's coming out really good. Sequencing feels pretty good. So we're all just trying to then build this up to start adding in more speed. So go back, do my joint integrity today to put back in foot pounds from what I just took out from throwing. I'll do that quick math real quick um, and then do that uh, weight exercise stuff with the dumbbells to put what I just took out back in. Then we'll go from there tomorrow and start adding in a little more explosive work whenever I lift um, and then get towards the speed closer to Friday. So let's get on back, get a nice little healthy meal in our system and then start the uh, joint integrity stuff for what we've got to put back in our arm from what we took out today. So I'll see you guys at home and see you guys probably on the next day because I'm not showing you all the joint integrity stuff because you got to join the A11 performance plan or go to nationalpitching.com. One of those two will get you settled. Um, so I'll show you some of it, but not all of it. See you later. All right, guys, it is now the day of the UFL showcase up at Kell High School. You've seen the recovery from just five days ago where I finished my workout with grid camps and the Philadelphia Eagles and moved through to my A day, which is kind of the pliability the, and a little bit of strength exercises to super compensate, to my B day, which is more strength exercises, but at a more explosive level. And then yesterday, uh, Despite the rain, we were able to go with our C day, which is our working speed, to make sure that we don't lose speed for the competition today. That means we're th trying to throw the towel as hard as possible. We're trying to sprint the fastest that we've ever sprinted, break a PR, but now it is time to actually go to the showcase. So I need to get stretched out, and by stretched out, I mean I'm gonna take the foam roller and roll out a lot of the tight muscles from sleeping. I made sure I got great recovery last night by going to sleep around nine o'clock. Then I even slept in till about like 7.30, 8 o'clock because I don't have to be there until 11.30. So post-editing Justin here, just wanted to explain a little bit of what I'm doing. So as you hear me say a lot in the program, you do not stretch mobile joints. Good thing is hamstrings, calves, and your quads are not joints, they're muscles. So what you're seeing me do here is roll out the muscles to make sure the lactic acid from the work before that should have gone away when I slept is now gone and ready to perform because if there's any lactic acid still, still left in the muscle, then it, I will not be able to perform as well as I possibly can or as explosive as I can. But then now you're seeing me right before I left, had to bring the football in just in case I needed to throw a little bit before the foam roller again, the cleats, plenty of alkaline water because you know it's going to be a hot day my quarterback towel to make sure my hand stays dry with all the sweating that you see me do and again the foam roller to make, to make sure there's no lactic acid buildup during the workout but zipping up the bag and it's time to head on to Kell High School. All right we just made it to the parking lot at Kell High School. As you can see I didn't talk about why I went completely clean shaven so let me kind of talk about that real quick before I head up over there to go get checked in. Obviously in the last video the da or not the last video but the Dallas tryout video I talked about doing something different doing something that's going to make you stand out. Well at a professional showcase like this where I'm already being invited, they know information about me, they know me, obviously I still need to do something to, to continue to stand out, right? So today I've decided to go ahead and go completely clean shaven. Obviously I know I do have a ticking clock now in terms of where my career is going to go because now I'm 26. I need to appear younger to the scouts that know who I am but may not 100% know all that. So today I went clean shaven so that you would be able to see that a 21, 22 year old that might be out here might look the exact same as me. So if you're an older guy trying to make professional leagues, younger is always better. So try to look the youngest that you possibly can so that maybe you run your 40 or you throw a great pass or you catch a great ball, whatever. And that might be you look younger than the other guy. So you might subconsciously look better to the coach and then he'll have to go check his information. But I got the bag right here and we're gonna go ahead and head up to Kell High School. Uh, we're already here, obviously, so we're gonna head up to the stadium right here, get checked in, get our jersey, get st uh, start getting the warm-up procedures and all that kind of done so we can go get to testing and then go show out. So let's get on inside.
NFL showcase done. Got the shirt right here. There's that UFL right there. Uh, we just completed. I had a very, very terrific day. Um, only had like three or four missed throws. Uh, and then DC, as usual, Von Hutchins stopped me, talked to me. Arlington stopped me and talked to me. Uh, and we're definitely going to continue to move forward with things. And I'll be in touch with them, and they'll be in touch with me uh, whenever we're uh, heading to go to a private workout. So definitely successful UFL showcase. Now we, again, got to get ready to go play for Team America, get some more outdoor film. But that's your boy Justin Arth signing off. Uh, make sure you go like, subscribe. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the content uh, coming from uh, the UFL showcase. I paid for, paid extra to make sure I got video. So hopefully we got video of me throwing that you saw here. But workout was very, very well. Threw the ball very well. Didn't uh, limited my mistakes. It's time to head on home to Atlanta and start the recovery process all over again. Play a game on August 5th. I'll see you later.